Ron, this next question is from Patrick Kamler in Ohio. It's essentially about the value differences between comps and the realtor and whose number is best to use. Mm -hmm. He writes, I'm looking to do a wholesale or lease option deal in my area, and every time I go to investigate a property and run comps, there's always a major difference between what the comps say the property is worth and what a realtor says it's worth. I'm looking at a vacant property now that the owner said a realtor did a market analysis on and it came back at 75000 I ran comps and I estimated around 56000 All right. Is this common? That's enough. Yes. It's very common. And by the way, I did a whole video lesson on that as well, how to determine the market value. So if you haven't gone and listened to that, go back and get it. Get it off your Gold Club site. And again, if you guys are watching and you're not Gold Club members, it's a measly $59 a month. Go get signed up for the Gold Club. Get more benefit out of, more value out of that, out of any one benefit to pay for that. But to answer your question, yes, in today's market, determining comps is tougher, way tougher, because you got the bank-owned properties dragging them down. And it's all subjective. However, technically, they're supposed to throw out the bank-owned property sales and only use arm's length sales. So if uh, you're asking me which one's right, you or the realtor, the answer is, you're both right and you're both wrong. But if I saw evidence that an arm's length sale on a couple of different houses put the value up at the $75,000 R, that's what I would use. But remember, R is R. That's not necessarily what you're going to sell the property for. So I would never go into a deal assuming that I can sell the property for 100% of the R. If you'll come let me train you at my quick turn school, you'll learn that the last thing I want you to do today is cash out of properties anyway, and if you're not going to cash out of them today, the ARB is not that important to you right now because hopefully one day it's going to go back up. And as you can see by the article in this issue, it's starting to turn around, I think, already.